uh, in the MOBA genre, in the battle royale genre, in the sh competitive, you know, multiplayer shooter genre, etc., etc. And we felt that there's already plenty of these games. There's always already enough. People are already content with it. Um, and we wanted to make something that would be like the next big thing two to three years after we started development. Um, and so that's what we aim for with, with Warlander. And in specifically, we wanted to um, make a game that would make players who enjoy hack and slash games, who like using a sword and shield and fighting up close and personal, as well as players who like to shoot things, who like to fight from a distance with, with you know, shooting uh, elements. Players who generally don't like either of those things and they just want to play with other people, maybe help them, support them. Players who like strategy. We wanted to make a game that made all of them happy at once. Um, and that's where uh, Warlander came into play. How um, did you like approach this setting? When creating the game, of course, we wanted to create a setting that made as many people excited as possible and gave them as much, uh, you know, things to look forward to as possible. And that involved like swords and shields and magic. That involved robots and lots of other things that you might think don't go together normally. Um, and what we were thinking was that you know uh, a lot of stuff is like Japanese RPGs, right? JRPGs, uh, Hollywood movies, or uh, popular American TV shows that are set in fantasy periods. Um, those are all things that people love and get people really excited. And so we wanted to kind of combine them with science fiction uh, elements as well. That's why you see like robots in there and stuff. And we put it all together, and that's where we came up with the setting. Which kind of um, players do you hope this game, when it comes out, it will appeal to? So I think the main thing we want to do is we want to have a, a, a fairly wide appeal, right? We want players who enjoy action games, we want players who enjoy shooting games, players who enjoy strategy, um, players who are very much hardcore gamers, players who are not necessarily hardcore gamers, um, all able to play together and come together and enjoy the game in the way they like to. When you look at other competitive games or other cooperative games, you see players, um, you know, there's like limited sizes to each of the teams and so it's just kind of those teams and then what, whatever's around them playing together. But we want communities themselves to get into the game and kind of work together. And what that means is that in certain situations, right, you may have, um, for example, let's say a famous influencer or several famous influencers. They can create their own army out of their supporters or their friends, their fans. Um, those kinds of 